All right, here's a quick intro video for a, a really special track at Turkey Hollow. Um, direct county road frontage on a well-maintained gravel county road within a quarter mile of the Mark Twain National Forest uh, to the east, as you can see on the map here. So here's the property, here's the National Forest. Um, it's got a wet weather creek, Pine Creek, going over the east side. So you've got basically a good source of gravel if you ever need it. And then um, some of the, the big bonuses on this property, it has an existing home site, it has mature walnut trees, it has its own long private driveway, and it has power uh, directly on site, including um, a couple power poles, at least one power pole. So as we look at this, oh, by the way, it's, it's covered in mature timber as well. I mean, this, there hasn't been logging for years and years on this property. There's some great timber. Uh, so let's zoom in and take a look at this. You know what? First, let's quickly zoom way out, if my map will let me do that, because I want to show you this location. This is an, an excellent location here. I'm trying to switch to street map. There we go. Okay. So as we zoom out a little bit, you know, let's zoom way out just for fun. And we'll take a look here. We're kind of losing the property. Okay, <laughs> so here's the property, um, just to the right of center of the screen. This huge green chunk that you see, the shade of green, that's one area of the Mark Twain National Forest. So that's extremely close to the property. It doesn't directly border it, so you do have a little privacy buffer strip there, um, but very, very close. To the west is Springfield, Missouri. So that's probably an hour and a half to the west. And then you have numerous little towns nearby as well. Uh, all these lines are, are major rivers and creeks uh, that are in the area. And then as we zoom in, uh, you can see some of the some of the very cool stuff going on here. Okay, let's go one more. <laughs> we always try to keep these short, but I mean there there are times when there's so much going on that they get a little longer than uh, than others. Uh, so again, here's the property. Like I said, the the green shaded area is Mark Twain National Forest. The blue shaded area is conservation land, which is also open for public use, hunting, recreation, trail riding. The purple shaded area is the Ozark National Scenic Riverways, which gives you access to the Jacks Fork River, to, I believe, the Current River. Uh, I mean, basically, all these things are uh, areas that people come from across the nation to use, and you can actually own a property right in the heart of it all. Uh, the town of Mountain View is about 15 miles to the west, and that's a significant town because although it's small, it does have a Walmart. It does have a bunch of other stores and businesses. Um, the other, the closest town would be Birch Tree, which is a very small town, but it does have a uh, gas station, Dollar General, uh, that kind of stuff. To the east, we have Winona, Missouri over here, which is similar in size to Birch Tree. So the property is actually really, um, it's private, but it's easy to get to. Just go east out of Birch Tree on Highway 60 for a couple miles. Then you'll cut north. Uh, on a small paved road, I believe it's 452, and then immediately uh, go north onto a gravel road. And that's the, that's the road which directly borders the property. Whoops. Okay, let's zoom in and take a good look at this. We haven't even looked at the property yet. <laughs> okay, so the dotted line you see, that's, uh, like I said, Pine Creek, which is a wet weather creek. So it, it'll flow a couple times throughout the year, only after it's been raining. Uh, but uh, on the plus side, it does give you a nice source of gravel on that east side of the property for landscaping, for building projects, and that kind of stuff. Okay, so zooming in here. So yeah, I mean, this is special for a lot of reasons, but one of them is that uh, as we were exploring the property, uh, we found several things that indicated that there was once either a farm or a homestead or, or something on the property. There's an old cistern. So first of all, here's the driveway. You can see where it comes in. This line that goes north and south, that's the power line. So that's on site. You don't have to worry about that. That's on site uh, for when you need it. Um, the old cistern we found is here. It's, uh, co it's capped with concrete, has a metal barrel on the top, and we look down inside. It looks like, unfortunately, like a lot of cisterns, some people have thrown some trash in there over the years. So you're going to have to get, I don't know, like a fishing net and scoop some of that stuff out. Uh, but it did have water in it, so it's very possibly a spring-fed uh, cistern, which is interesting. There's a small structure here. Um, here we go. As we try to zoom in a little more. Uh, so the driveway comes in here. Mature walnut trees all over the place. I mean, huge walnut trees. After the property's been paid for in full, 
you're welcome to cut the walnut trees, to cut any of the hardwood tree, any trees. Uh, once it's been paid for in full while you're making payments, you cannot do that. Um, contact us for any specifics uh, as far as that goes. But so that the existing driveway comes in, crosses under the power line, keeps going, and then actually there's a beautiful open area. This was either leased or under contract for a while, and someone uh, looked like they did some work to it. So we've got a big open area here, kind of an interesting structure made out of cedar trees here. Um, beautiful cedar and pine grove, which you can kind of tell when you look at this aerial. And then uh, the balance of the property is mostly hardwood trees. As you go to the west, it slopes up uh, very gently. And you can see here all the hardwood trees. Uh, actually, let's do a topo map because, I mean, the, this property just sits so, so nicely, as you'll see in a second here. Okay, so what the topo map is telling us, uh, it's actually the highest on the, on the west side um, that appears to be a large flat area here. And it slopes down very gently as you move toward the east, toward the county road. So basically, you pull off the county road. It's flat. Um, you cross the, the small gravel creek bed. Um, and as you move to the west, it starts to slope up very gradually. So there's, I mean, there's basically nothing steep on this property. Maybe this northwest corner would have a little more steepness to it, but not much. I mean, um, this is, this lays, as they say, unusually nicely because mostly here in the Ozarks, if I just back up a little bit, I mean, if you look at this topo map, it's up and down, up and down, up and down, a lot of steepness, a lot of uh, high points and valleys and everything else. And this property itself, not only does it have some level area, but I mean, it, it just very gradually slopes up. So you've got building sites down here. Uh, there is a trail we found which goes up to the west. I have no idea how far it goes, but you could also create your own trail. I mean, if you want to get maximum privacy, then up here on the on the west side, uh, although pretty much any of this would be level, level enough to build. Um, but for instance, if you wanted to build here kind of west of center, um, you could potentially have a heck of a view looking out to the east if you were to thin out some of the trees on your own property. Uh, so, I mean, just, just a lot going on. Uh, like I said, this is National Forest, the shaded area here. So it doesn't directly border the property. You've got a little buffer zone there, but it, it's nearby. As the crow flies, it's about a quarter mile. Uh, as far as different access points, I'm sure there are several in the area. Um, Topo maps are cool because they kind of give us a glimpse into the history of the property. They're, they're mostly, I'm told, uh, done in the 50s, the 1950s, and uh, based upon what was there at the time. And apparently at the time, uh, this was open meadow here on the east side because the white area indicates that it was open meadow. And that actually jives with what we saw on the property as far as the old homestead. So if you look probably from about the west side of the cedar grove, Cedar and Pine Grove, I should say. It's both. It's beautiful. From here toward the road, um, that was likely all once open meadow, and that's where they had uh, the house or the farm or, or whatever. But, I mean, bring your metal detector and check it out. Um, really, really cool property. We, we have not had time to explore it all, but uh, you certainly can if you would like to. Come on out, bring your four-wheeler, bring your side-by-side, -side, bring your hiking boots. Uh, beautiful area and beautiful property. If you're into hunting or just... Uh, photography or whatnot. I mean, you've got so many deer, you've got wild turkey, you've got, like I said, the national forest, thousands and thousands of acres of national forest, um, just right there. I mean, within just a couple minutes. So, I mean, you're not going to get bored out here. If you're into fishing, tubing, uh, canoeing, kayaking, you've got all the rivers and creeks. Let's turn off that water feature layer. There we go. Um, but yeah, fantastic property. Be sure to check it out at, at instantacres.com. By the way, it's a big one. It's over 12 acres. It's fully surveyed, so that's good to go. Uh, it's pretty much got everything that everybody always asks us for, all packed into one uh, nice size property. So yeah, instantacres.com is where you can go to see if it's still available. If you have any questions, give us a shout in the office or uh, shoot us an email at sales at instantacres.com.